This triage procedure should occur in conjunction with normal first responder checks for ABCs, spinal, and other secondary injuries. This repackaging procedure should only be attempted in a protected environment and normally would occur if transport to hospital would last longer than about 30 minutes. Our rescuers have done a great job of taking their time to do it right. They've kept them horizontal, they've been gentle. And now as they would normally do, they're gonna take the clothing off and the first thing is we look at the patient, we want to try to determine what level of hypothermia is he at. And we can see he's shivering, and you want to test to see how alert he is. How are you doing? What is your name? My name is Zach. You know what day it is? December 9th. Okay, so he's doing very well. He's shivering a lot. He's obviously mildly hypothermic. We always want to be gentle. When a person is mildly hypothermic, he can help take some of his clothing off. Notice we didn't cut off the PFD, but we are cutting the rest of his clothing off. Normally you would cut all the clothing off, although we will leave his shorts on for this demonstration. So before they transfer him to a cot, they want to dry him off, and it's important not to pat the skin or rub the skin, what you want to do is blot the skin. So you would put a towel on and just use your hands to blot it. Take the water off the skin being gentle because when a person is colder, if you rub on the skin, you can actually put them into ventricular fibrillation. As you can see, this patient is presenting as a mildly hypothermic person. He's awake, he's, he knows where he is, what, what day it is, he knows his name. And you can see he's shivering fairly vigorously. And that is the signs and symptoms of mild hypothermia. So we have them dried off, and once we put them into this uh, dry, insulated cocoon, the heat that he's producing from shivering will actually help warm him up on his way to the hospital. And now the paramedics will use a standard procedure to put the victim on the stretcher. They're gonna do the best they can to be gentle and keep him horizontal, and place him properly on the blanket so that they can do it up later. In this case, the paramedics have chemical heat packs that they're going to apply to areas of high heat transfer. They can put them in the armpits, and another great place to put them is right on the chest because you're trying to warm up the heart, so you want to put heat as close to the heart as possible. 